Baltimore Dead Center 2015. Now today has been a full day of screenings, panels, and special events, but we are now at IAO Gallery at a pass holder only party hosted by the Oklahoma Film and Music Office. All right, Lance McDaniel, Executive Director of Dead Center. We are at IAO. This is the Oklahoma Film and Music Office hosted yes. party. Yes, yes, play. We're all about play. play right now at the Oklahoma Film and Music Office party. They've been a longtime sponsor of Dead Center, and Tavis Skofsky runs that with Jeanette Stanton, and it is amazing. Basically, the film industry in Oklahoma is based around the Oklahoma Film and Music Office because they provide the rebate program, and they also provide a production guide that allows everyone to, to basically, it allows you to resource um, crew members when you're here as a producer or director. We've got 34 state parks and 12 Eco regions. I mean, it's desert to rugged terrain to lush waterfalls. I mean, we, in the in the prairies. I mean, we've got so much. I think it was 2010 was my last dead center, and to have seen how much the festival has grown in the last five years it is absolutely wonderful. And now, you were telling me some stories like whenever you were actually filming Hollis, how the community just kind of supports they support you. They support us so much. Let's film anywhere. Stay wherever we want to. The cop cars. Oh, yeah. The, the, the jail. Finding locations is so easy. Like, so many people just took us in and were very trusting of us and let us kind of kind of do. Like, we just got really lucky with all locations. The crew was amazing. Like, all our actors and crew are from Oklahoma. To know how many talented crews there are here. There's a lot of talented people that do all sorts of things. And there were three films going on when we were here. And our crew was still amazing. And to know that everyone was supplied with such wonderful people, like it's just an ever-growing film community that's really exciting. Another great thing about Oklahoma is the crew. The crew is basically world-class and they are uh, phenomenal in ju just their professionalism and their responsibility, their techniques, and uh, you got some great crew members right here filming yep, as well. Right here. So. <laughs> This was the first full day of screenings. This is the first full day of screenings, and what's awesome about Friday Night at Dead Center is it's also the night that we do Oki Shorts. And Oki Shorts have been our, they were our first program ever in 2001, and they're our most popular program still. And I was just there, and we sold out two different theaters full of people there to see Oki Shorts. And what is exciting is our festival has grown from like 300 films to 1,100 films submitting. And even through all that growth, Oklahoma filmmakers are still a third of the festival. Dead Center is amazing. Like people showed up five hours early to our screening. Uh, and we saw, you know, saw both our shows. This year is, is no, uh, no different. Uh, films are, are selling out all over the place. It's so great uh, to be in Oklahoma and have a festival of this caliber right in our backyard. All right, the party is wrapping up here, but Dead Center rolls on. So make sure to use that hashtag DCFF15 to follow the conversation on social media. And for the entire schedule, go to deadcenterfilm.org.